So this is how I cover my boat. I have my uh, mast that acts as a, uh, let's call it a, uh, a rafter, a roof rafter, and it comes all the way from the front to the back. I have a middle support, and then I bought these uh, one and a half inch uh, water pipes. I bought them, and they, can, they come in like 200 foot rolls or whatever, and I made, you know, ribs, basically. So my lifelines, of course, are all loose. They have to be loose. As you know, in the winter, you always have to loosen up your lifelines because there will be shrinkage as the, as the stainless steel gets cold. And then I have the, um, uh, I added some one inch water pipe as well, all plastic. They come in three or 400 foot rolls or whatever. So I have a cross member that goes all the way to, from the front to the back. Um, and then I have all the spare ribs over here. So the snow will accumulate and just basically slide down uh, off the um, off the uh, the tarp, so it keeps the tarp nice, the tarp nice and uh, you know uh, no weight on it, if you will. So um, yeah, and as you can see, I take my spreaders, I remove my spreaders, and I tie them together this way, with all with tie wraps, by the way. Everything is tie wraps, uh, as you can see with the tie wraps. So you have to do a cross member, so like an X, uh, and when you do an X, it stops the pipes from going up and down. If you just put one tie wrap. Uh, it will eventually slide down with the weight of the snow or ice or whatever and there you go and uh, Yeah, so that's the way I I cover my boat So you see the tarp you can see the shape of the ribs, so it's completely compacted or sorry uh, Taking taking the shape. I'll be putting a smaller tarp here in the back to uh, close off the back You always want to leave a little bit of air so it can aerate and one thing that uh, You might consider it also is that from my pads to the next pad. I actually added uh, a nice line over here so that adds uh, flexibility and much easier too when you're installing it you can just lace it uh, at that point and it still gives you easy access underneath the uh, underneath the boat as well you don't have to go underneath the boat and there you go and my dominant wind here at the yacht club on the grounds is actually coming from the northwest so what I did is the front end I made sure that it was folded so that the wind direction or dominant wind direction would actually keep it closed rather than try to grab it and open it. So also keep in mind where's the wind coming from and your location. There you go.